Librarian was Samuel J. McGuire, so when I felt to Sam McGuire, another fellow for the R, so the R had it. Football champions. Okay, so it is April 1925, and Lady Gregory, the first chairperson of the Galway County Library, uh, she records in her diary that McGuire, the librarian, has been here. Samuel McGuire was uh, the first county librarian, and they both discussed the various difficulties in relation to establishing a county library service in Galway. Maguire um, tells Lady Gregory that he went to see Dr. Fogarty, the Bishop of Killaloo, to ask for help, but the Bishop would give none. And the Bishop in Lady Gregory's journals is quoted as saying, I would do nothing to add a half penny to the weights, and I am against libraries, because the people have too much independence and too much education. <laughs> Let's note that around the same time, the 9th of July, 1925, a short story by Liam O'Flaherty uh, entitled The Library appears in the Manchester Guardian. And in the short story, and it's the Inspector of Government Relief Works is working on the idea of establishing a local library in a place called Drummullen, and he is meeting quite an amount of resistance. He is told that the idea of a library in Drummullen might be prejudicial to the welfare of the community. The sanitary officer, the local doctor, and the hotel keeper are among those opposed to the idea of a library. The parish priest is worried about the importation of literature into rural communities. And the doctor objected because <coughs> rural libraries were governed by democratically elected committees and democracy was always vulgar. <laughs> but the idea and the philosophy for a local public library as set out by Liam O'Flaherty back in 1925 is interesting and it still holds true today. For example, he suggests taking a room, installing some chairs and tables, purchasing books and magazines, holding a discussion circle, and inviting lecturers to the local library from time to time. So I want to say that in spite of all the modern technology and the resulting changes in library services, what O'Flaherty set out at the time is what good libraries still do. The idea of the public library as a community space and with a great book collection is more vital today in this age of Twitter and this age of, 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 of social media. It's still a, 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 a vital philosophy and a, a vital concept. On the 30th of September 1925, Lady Gregory is in Galway where she's chairing a meeting of the Carnegie Committee. The Carnegie Foundation ran the library service in Galway before the County Council took it over in 1927. The chairman of the committee was absent and Lady Gregory records, I was put in the chair being the vice chairperson and I was rather embarrassed. And then she adds, but Maguire helped me through again referring to Sam McGuire as the first county librarian. And during the meeting, she made the point that we ought to give as large a proportion as possible to biographies and history and travel, books that are costly and difficult to obtain. The Roman Catholic canon nodded approval and all seemed to agree. And she adds, contrary to what the doctor says in the Liam of Darby story, Lady Gregory said, I liked the meeting. Ten or twelve men, not much interested in literature, but in a common effort to help a good cause. And in relation to the book stock, I think that Lady Gregory would approve of the kind of books which Liam of Lahanty proposed for the local library, including books by Dostoevsky, Shelley, Goethe, and Anatole France. So, having referred to um, 
Lady, Lady Gregory and Liam of Laharty, both who were concerned about libraries and literature in 1925. I want to make reference to another writer who recently passed away and who said some very interesting things on the same subjects in the radio. In the, in, in, she said it in the radio program in 2007, and I'm referring to Edna O'Brien, who gave perhaps one of her best interviews about literature um, to the sports journalist uh, Eamon, Eamon Dunphy. And I think it's just relevant when they get to the end that we're at the back of the Augustinian church, and I will refer to that um, in a moment. Edna O'Brien told Eamon Dunphy, she was walking down Baggett Street not too long ago, and there's a big poster on a hoarding for a big car, a posh car, costing thousands. What does the caption say, Edna O'Brien says? It is the notion now, Edna O'Brien went on, not only the notion, but the absolute belief that fame, money, and total indulgence is what people should be given, and that's everywhere. Edna O'Brien went on, that's why I think, and I will continue to think it, that literature, great literature, and real literature is one of the most thought-provoking, helpful, and in some form, spiritual thing that's there and it is on the decline. It is being marginalized day in and day out. <coughs> reading a book, Edna O'Brien went on, reading a book or a poem or seeing a great piece of drama is a private transaction between two people, the creator and the receiver. Well, that's gone out the window now, she said. People think you can fling language down on a page or whatever, and it does sell. If you look at the bestseller list, it is either celebrity or whatever. Mediocrity is everywhere. It is hard enough to write. It is purgatoria and inferno to write a book and to keep writing. Great books have come out of the purgatoria, purgatoria and inferno of living. Well, I wrote to the producer of the Eamon Dunphy program seeking permission to reproduce these lines and put them in the window here of the library. I put them on the library website. The producer did not respond. Instead, I received a direct response from Edna O'Brien. And she said to me, the next time I'm in Galway, I will go into the Augustinian church and I will light a candle for you. <laughs> Until 19... Unlike 1925, there was, today there was little or no resistance to public libraries. They are widely encouraged. But I, ha I have to say that the battle to secure an adequate book fund for libraries continues year after year. And let me tell you, it can be quite a struggle in some, some years, quite a struggle. To finish with, again with Edna O'Brien in a Paris Review interview, what matters is the imaginative truth and the perfection and care with which it has been rendered. Thank you. Okay.